Hi everyone, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Aileen and here we like to talk about all things makeup, mostly luxury makeup, skincare, and fashion. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I hope you consider subscribing and joining the family. So today y'all, we're gonna swatch and try on the new packaged Patrick Top Blushes as well as the new shade. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then keep on watching. But before we go, like we always say, comment, like, subscribe. Let's get to it. I personally never picked up the Patrick Ta blush palette because I don't reach for face palettes at all. So when these came out individually, I was so excited because I absolutely love the formula. She So LA is a shade I wear a lot, a lot. I will make sure to have the powders, the creams, and mix together swatched on my hand as well as my daughter's on Instagram at A Merch Beauty. So let's try these on. I do have a full face, but I don't have on any bronzer, y'all, because I want you to see the shade in its full glory. So let's get to it. Let's start with She's Baked. So She's Baked, She's Vibrant, and She's a Doll are from the palette. The She's Blushing is a new shade. So let's start with the shades from the palette. And here is the packaging, very mirrored, very, they get very messy very quickly with fingerprints and makeup. Like this is my She's So LA. You see how dirty she is? And this is what they look like brand new. So I'll clean that. So this is She's Baked. And let's go ahead and swatch them. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty. So that's She's Baked. Let's try it on. So I'm gonna apply it on this side and I'm gonna apply it the powder first as he recommends with my Unit 305 brush. I have really, oh, that's pigmented. I have really been enjoying these unit brushes. That was more pigmented than I thought it was. This is just the powder. And you can definitely wear them, just the powder. I'm looking at the viewfinder to apply this just the powder and then you can add the cream and the cream just like locks it in and gives it a little bit of sheen as well. I'm gonna apply a little more. I feel like I buffed that out too much. Oh, that's so pretty. So here is my brush and I'm going to, I always go with the flat end into the cream. Oh, oh, she's, yeah. She's pigmented. Let me smooth that out with the finger. Ooh, okay. So this is She's Baked, which is this one here. And I did shear that out a little with my finger because it was a little bam. So this shade definitely will work for multiple skin tones. It's very, very pigmented and I had to shear that out. So let's move on. Look at the packaging already, y'all. Like, this is a hot mess. Let's move on to She's Vibrant. I am so excited for this. She's a Vibrant is Vibrant. This is She's Vibrant. So let me go ahead and swatch that here. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited. See, it's like the cream is more sheer, but it's definitely going to just give that glow. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. Get it together, Ailey. Next, so I'm going to apply this shade with the Unit 306. Look, two dabs. Mm. Okay, 
Let's dab again. Whoa. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's pigmented. This is like a you if you don't want a lot of payoff, this would be like the like you would need a Wayne Goss artist brush, like not that specific brush, but like just that soft. Okay, <laughs> that's really bright. <laughs> so I'm just gonna flip my sponge over and instead of using the bottom, I'm gonna use this side. And, ooh, I'm nervous. Oh yeah, yeah, like this is like really, really, really pink. Like, look at my fingers. Wow. Okay. I feel like this might not be a shade I would range more often as excited as I was for it. I would have to look. <laughs> I just look like me and my makeup had a fight. And guess who won? Not me. <laughs> so yes, this is She's Vibrant. Now, if you like a vibrant blush, this is your girl right here. And if you're deeper than me, this is going to show up. Because as light as I went and as hard as I buffed, this did not go anywhere. So let me remove this touch up my foundation and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I do have the Huda Beauty foundation stick, so it was a quick swipe and reapply situation. So next, let's take a look at She's Doll. And I'm just gonna apply it the same. I'm gonna apply it the same. I'm not gonna try to go lighter, even though I feel I should, but it's okay. And I'm gonna apply the powder shade with the Sonia G Cheek Pro. Okay. Oh, this one's not as pigmented as I was expecting. I mean, it's it's softer. It's more of a flushed pink. Like a ballerina pink. Well, that's pretty. I feel like she's vibrant was just a tinge, just a smidget too vibrant for my taste because I'm not... A big heavy blush person. So next I'm gonna flip it to the round side and I'm going to apply the cream. Oh and I did forget to swatch it. I'll swatch it in just a second. See? I can do that. Mm-hmm. We can definitely do that. So this is She's a Doll. That's pretty. So this is with nothing and this is She's a Doll. So let me swatch She's a Doll. Yeah, it definitely looks more pastel. Yep. This is just so vibrant. I really don't think I can do that. <laughs> Lastly is She's Blushing. Let me go ahead and swatch that. And I want to swatch that next to um, She's So LA. Just because She's So LA has more of the same tones. And it's my absolute favorite. I think if you click on many of my description boxes, if it's not a blush video, you'll see I have that on. Let me compare it to She's So LA. So it definitely has more like a peachy pink to it than She So LA is like a true neutral brownie shade. This is She So LA and this is She's Blushing. I think I'm really gonna like She's Blushing too. On this side, I'm gonna apply the She's Blushing with the Large Angled Contour F40 from Sigma, starting with the powder. Yes, see this, mm-hmm, this is an alien shade. 
and it does look more intense on camera than I see it in person because I do have a mirror down here and I glimpsed and I'm like, oh, definitely more pronounced on camera, but it could also be the lighting, which I'm surprised is not washing it out, but that is beautiful. That blended out beautifully. I didn't have to really work with it to make it work for how I like my blush. So let me get a, a new sponge and I'm gonna go into the cream. You see how it gives that dewiness? Oh, that's so pretty. Yes, yes, yes. This is my favorite shade right here. She's blushing is in a lean shade all day, every day. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's, I really like that. This is really nice as well. I really like these. The She's Vibrant is just a, just a smidge too vibrant for me. But I absolutely love this formula. I'm so excited that they came out in individual packages because now I know I'll use it. But I'm not going to lie. She's Vibrant might go back because I will probably never, ever do that. So let me know. Did you pick any of these up? Which one was your favorite? Definitely, I'm thinking she's blushing. She's a doll. She's baked. And lastly, she's vibrant. That is the order in which I would rank these shades. That doesn't include the, the previous shades, which I own, which are Do We Know Her and She's So LA. And Do We Know Her, it's like a very light peach. It's not like she's vibrant. She's vibrant is like a bam peach. This is very, very light. There you go. Totally, totally different. But let me know if you picked any of these up. What did you think? I, I'm excited. I'm excited. Thank you all so much for coming. And until next time, don't forget, we're all perfectly imperfect. Bye.